Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm all good. I just thought that I would share something uh, because it's something that I've been feeling ever since I started off on YouTube, but I, I just can't put it into words. I can't explain it, but I'm gonna give it a go. Hopefully some somebody might, you know, recognize themselves. Um, but it's about how I use YouTube and Twitter sort of as an escape if that makes any sense at all. Um, it's sort of a separate world from my like real world, but only in the sense that my real life friends uh, or like pre-YouTube friends are totally excluded. They, they just don't know what, they don't know anything about my online life. So to outsiders, I'd say it's a completely separate world um, but to me, it's very much the same reality. And the reason for why, like, my friends and stuff are excluded is obviously because they're not, they're not active on the sites. So, well, not really active. Not in my opinion. Um, I'm not trying to trash talk my friends or, you know, saying that they're, that I care less about them. It's got nothing to do with that at all. I'm just saying that you know, I encourage them to try these sites out, but I can't in a deep way sort of explain what it's all about. You know, why I have this passion for these sites or, you know, why I make videos and stuff. Um, it's, you sort of have to, in my opinion, uh, just discover it on your own and find like the, the greatness of it all. For me, that happened a long time ago. So I just, you know, I can't explain it to anybody really. Um, but since um, my friends aren't active on these sites, it, it can become a real escape for me. And that's what I like. I like having it sort of for myself. And with them present, I don't think that that sort of escape would be possible. I mean, uh, people that I met or, you know, my friends, they do watch my videos or family members or whatever, but they interpret it in one way, in their way. Because again, they don't have the story behind it all because they're not active on the site, they don't know anything about the community, you know. Um, so they may just think that I'm, you know, stupid for making these videos, but, it, you know, it's just that they don't get it. Um, but I'll just, you know, I don't, I don't care about that. I'll just let them think that they're right, you know. And again, uh, by doing that, I make them believe that maybe they're a part of that world, but they're definitely not. And that's what makes it possible for me to have that escape. And I think that it's really hard to explain, um, but I think that um, the only way for me to be honest about it or maybe get somebody to understand it is to talk about it with you YouTube people, right? Um, Maybe you know how gamers uh, talk about how they're escaping the reality when they're gaming or whatever. It's a little bit like that, but I'm not gonna say that what I'm doing is more real. That's the wrong word, but it's closer to reality in my opinion, the two worlds, so to speak. But because it can become reality pretty easy, and it's all it's all about read. It's I try to find real things um, and the stuff that I share, it's reality, it's my life. Um, and I, I guess maybe by using the word escape, um, it may sound a bit harsh because it's not like I'm, you know, I'm not in escaping my life in that way, but yeah. But by escaping, you know, I become more real because I do share you know, stuff about my life. Whatever. I just want to hear if maybe somebody else knows what I'm talking about. That would be great.